Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Optronics LED Trailer Fender Clearance Light. This is a submersible design. It offers two diodes, one amber, one red, and it can work on the driver or passenger side. Part number is MCL180ARB. This trailer fender clearance light is an LED design. You can see we've got our rear red LED, we've got our front yellow LED to indicate direction of travel. And something that really stands out with this one compared to other trailer fender lights that we see, that this one's fully submersible. Inside, those are gonna be fully potted, so they're sealed inside of that polycarbonate lens. So even if this is underwater, we're not gonna to have to worry about anything getting to the electronics inside. The housing that holds it is a black ABS plastic. So that's gonna be nice and durable. You've got attachment points here. And also if you choose, there's a couple of attachment points underneath that cover that you can use. And to ensure that you stay legal wherever you travel, it's a DOT compliant light and it does have a P2 rating. Now the LEDs of course give us a nice clean bright light. It's kind of what most people are switching to when switching lights on their trailer. They also have some other benefits to them as well. They don't draw near the power through the systems for not using as much energy from our vehicle. And also they last a lot longer. They don't have the filaments in there that'll eventually break so you're not going to have to worry about changing bulbs. Comparing these to other fender lights similar to it, this is going to be one of the more small, compact, and nice looking ones out there. And because it has the LEDs, it should last a very long time. Now when installing your light, you want to ensure that you've got the right color light facing the right direction. You can see on the bottom there's a sticker, yellow and red. The red indicates that's the side the red LEDs on, the yellow indicates that's the side the yellow LEDs on. Now this is made to fit both the passenger and driver side. We're installing it on the passenger side, so we've got our yellow sticker there. You can see the wires are facing the wrong direction. So what we do is just fold those over, over the other direction. Now when we mount that, you can see our yellow is going to be towards the front. It's the way we want it. Once we've decided we've got that the right way, we'll clip our cover on. Now if you plan on taking your trailer down any narrow trails where you might have this come in contact with something, you might have limbs dragging over the fender, it's a good idea to also secure it using these two holes. So you can secure it to your fender first with these, put the cover on, and secure it additionally here. Now this is an on-road trailer, it's not going to have any time off-road, so we're just going to use these two holes. You'll notice it's a two-wire design, so you're going to have two options there. If your trailer is a two-wire setup, like what we've got here, you're just going to connect your running light signal to the black wire and your ground to the white. If you only have a single wire, then you just want to ground this out using a ring terminal and a self-tapping screw or an existing screw on the trailer. Just place that ring terminal behind it and secure it down. That'll give you the ground you're looking for. Now to get the install done, you'll want to strip back the wire or wires on your trailer, depending on your setup. I'm going to expose that copper, and I like to twist those together. Make them a little more solid. That way as we slide on our butt connector, we don't have one that sneaks out on us. We're using heat shrink butt connectors, as you can see. These are designed to give us superior corrosion resistance. Once these are shrank down, water can't get inside here, dirt can't get inside there, so we're not gonna have any corrosion issues. Now to shrink these down, we're gonna need a heat source. We can use a mini torch, we can use a heat gun, or we can use a lighter. The key is not to overheat them. Just wanna gently heat them up. You'll see them start to shrink down. When they get shrank down, it's going to look like that wire gets bigger, as if it's magnified a little bit. Kind of see it there. And then there will be a little bit of that clear gel that comes out of the end. That's going to indicate you've got it fully shrank. So just do that for the other three wires. Now with our connections made, just route our wires down in. Of course, tidy up any excess you might have. You don't want additional wire hanging out down the bottom. And you'll see how that wire hides very nicely underneath there. Gives us a nice flush look. Make sure we've got it where we want it. And we can place in our two screws. Now there is no hardware included, so you're gonna have to reuse the screws that came with your old light, or the screws that you had existing anyway, and get those installed. 
Now to test it out, you can simply hook up to your towing vehicle, turn on the running lights, and you can see it looks like everything's working properly. And that's going to complete our look at the Aptronix LED Trailer Fender Clearance Light, part number MCL180ARB.